Number one fear in America, public speaking. Number two is death. The lesson for this debate is that you cannot go for impact or issue critique and not answer the other team's framework. Your opposition is increasing the privacy policy of Mr. Trudeau. Does he want to take our opinion unless it's a proposed resolution which are intuitively conditional because the invite the distinction doesn't take tax? Is sovereign power? We have uh, a population where debate is not necessarily cool. Automatically off the top, I would think nerd. Skills that you gain from debate really are helpful in tons of aspects of life. Everything goes back to speech and debate. At the school I went to, it was pretty cool to be a part of this debate program. So you'd have these you know, pretty geeky, nerdy guys who were pretty cool. <laughs> Matt's a genius. We call him the boy because he's a sophomore. Mostly people throw me black is because they basically like me. <laughs> Sam Iola is much better at debate than he is at life. Like, uh, I tried homework for a while. Like, that didn't exactly work. He's in the top one half of 1% of all debaters in the country. And if you looked at his grades, he'd probably be in the bottom 50th percentile of his own high school. I think people don't expect kids from the inner city to want to participate in an academic activity like Debate. You can't tell me that Martin Luther King is soft from racism and all the shit I go through every day. And debate for me honestly was a way out. I was looking for something to, you know, keep my head straight and keep me out of the streets. But in this room we do have power. The power to change your mind is what is gonna outweigh everything in this round. We can come here to win a trophy. The fact that me and Richard the first and second place speaker is nice how me and Richard come here to debate to create change. Debate kind of gave Lewis this venue, you know, for a cause. Like the stuff that you assume is just accessible to everyone is just not true. We're arguing that debate needs to be like an actual debate. Let's not have a competition on who can say what the fastest. What they're doing is a 180. I've never seen another team who cares more about the argument. Because we're confronting an issue that is the harsh reality of the debate society that we They're participating in the system, saying that the system is oppressive. They may think that they're revolutionaries, and if they are, they may change the whole process. Every Hollywood movie ever is about the long shot, you know, the, the kids from the wrong side of the tracks that nobody thinks can win and they hit the one in the million jackpot. And at the end of it, you never know if these guys are going to be the ones who do hit that jackpot, but they have a chance. They might.